Australia, a natural wonderland. With 379 different species of mammals including kangaroos, koalas, echidna, wallaby, wombat, platypus, and dingo. Australia has approximately 828 species of birds, half of which cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Or do reptiles interest you? With approximately 300 species of lizards, 140 species of snakes, and two species of crocodiles, Australia is a reptile paradise. The marine environment of Australia is extremely special. With over 4,000 species of fish, 1,700 species of coral, and 50 marine animals, it is a place like no other. Many of the marine species found in the southern waters of Australia are also not found anywhere else in the world. In our video we will tell you about 10 of the most amazing animals in Australia, from our point of view. So, let's begin. Southern Cassowary If you are visiting tropical North Queensland, keep your eyes out for the elusive cassowary. If you are wondering what this is, it's a prehistoric looking large colorful bird. The cassowary can grow up to 180 centimeters and normally weighs around 60 kilograms. The cassowary is easy to recognize with its unique look. Especially, the helmet-shaped protrusion on its head and its blue-colored neck. Tasmanian Devil The Tasmanian Devil is a marsupial that only lives, the name says it all, on the island of Tasmania. It is one of Australia's most unique and endangered species. The Tasmanian Devil is approximately 70, 110 centimeters long, has a large head, and weak hind legs. You can recognize the marsupial by its black fur with white accents. They survive only in the wild, where they are mainly found in rocky areas. Australian Frilled Lizard They look like miniature dragons, but luckily do not harm humans. The Australian frilled lizard can be recognized immediately by the large frill around its neck, which it can swing out like a fan. The frilled lizard, also known as frill neck, or affectionately called frilly, is approximately 70, 90 centimeters long. The lizard lives mainly in Kakadu National Park, in the trees of the northeastern coastal strip, and is sometimes found in central Australia. Wombat the wombat is a sturdy marsupial that has the appearance of both a badger and a bear. You can recognize the wombat by its grey-brown coat, its small tail and its hairless nose. The opening of the wombat's pouch is located at the rear so that the young do not get buried in the sand while digging. A wombat has a length of approximately 70, 120 centimeters, and is mainly found in dry forests. You will can wombats in southeastern Australia, and on the island of Tasmania. Still. Chances are you won't see them in the wild. The animals live in burrows for most of the day. Dingo. Dingoes look like they could make a good pet, but make no mistake. They are feral animals that cannot be approached. The dingo descends from the Indian steppe wolf and was probably brought by humans as pets to Australia approximately 5,000 years ago. Dingoes now live like wolves and hunt animals like rabbits, rodents, and birds. You can recognize the dingo by its sandy-colored coat with white accents and a large tail. You can encounter the dogs in the wild on Fraser Island, in the Kimberley region, and in the North and South Australian deserts. Parenti The Parenti is a giant lizard that eats snakes. It can grow up to 2.5 meters and weighs up to 20 kilgas. The lizard's rival is the crocodile monitor lizard. It is longer in appearance, but lighter and less bulky. The animal lives in the desert regions of Western Australia, South Australia, as well as Queensland and the Northern Territory. The Parenti usually avoids encounters with people. Being an excellent digger, the lizard quickly digs a hole and hides in it. The animal can run on all four legs, or only on two back legs. Adults feed mainly on vertebrate prey. The animal is rarely seen, as the Parenti has a rather shy character. Kangaroo the kangaroo is the most famous endemic of the continent, unofficially considered the national animal of Australia, depicted on the coat of arms of the country. There are about 40 million kangaroos of different species, which significantly exceeds the population of Australia, about 26 million. They are accustomed to arid conditions. They can do without water for a long time. The most famous species is the large red kangaroo, the largest of the modern marsupials in the world. Males reach a height of 1.5 meters at the withers, 
weigh up to 85 kilograms. Kangaroos move by jumping. Thanks to their strong and long hind legs, they cover a distance of more than 9 meters in one jump. They can reach speeds of up to 65 kilometers per hour. Platypus. The platypus is a protected species and is a member of the cloaca, the world's only egg-laying mammals. The platypus has the appearance of no fewer than three animals. It has the body of a mole, the tail of a beaver, and the beak of a duck. The animal grows to about two feet long and weighs one to two kilos. Although the platypus looks very friendly, be careful if you come across one. The male has a poisonous stinger on its hind legs. This poison is not dangerous to humans, but it can be very painful. You can compare it to a serious bee sting. It is also difficult to spot the platypus in the wild due to its shy nature. Red-tailed black cockatoo. The endangered Australian bird, of which there are an estimated 1,000 more flying around, is known for its distinct black appearance and red-colored tail. They are most commonly found in eucalyptus forests or along streams, especially along the Great Ocean Road and Mornington Peninsula. Black cockatoos live on a very specific diet of seeds, on which they are very dependent. With the advent of agriculture, food sources and nesting areas were limited, which has made it difficult for the birds to reproduce. Koala. Last but not least, the koala. You probably recognize the koala immediately when you see it because of its fluffy and bear-like appearance. Although the koala looks like a cuddly teddy bear, it is better not to approach it. A koala can resist a lot by biting and scratching. In Australia, koalas settle on the outskirts of large cities. If you encounter a koala, you will likely see it sleeping and hugging a eucalyptus tree. Koalas sleep for the majority of the day. Unfortunately, the chances of seeing a non-sleeping koala are fairly slim. Hello. These are the animals of Australia, and these are just 10. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel and study the animal world and expand your horizons with us.